Welcome to Daily Armor. Our verse today will be coming out of the book of John, chapter number 20, and looking at verse number 17. John chapter 20 and verse number 17. Um, before I read the text, I would like to say Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Um, my dad and my stepdad both are um, no longer with us. They're going to be with the Lord. And um, I have my, uh, my father-in-law still living, and that, that's a blessing, and what a blessing that is uh, to our family to still have um, him with us. So um, I know that there's so many of us that we don't have our dads with us any longer, um, but I just want to I want to say Happy Father's Day to my Heavenly Father because He never leaves us. He never changes. Um, he's always there. And what, uh, what a wonderful thing that we have to hold to when um, the people in our lives um, can't be there for us, um, can't by, you know, no fault of their own. So many times that we can't be what someone else needs. I can't be um, everything to my children um, that, that they maybe would like for me to be. But God is everything to each and every one of us. And so I'm just so thankful for him this morning. I'm so thankful that I can and do have the privilege to call God our creator. Also, I get to call him my father. Um, so let's look at this verse. Um, we'll be looking at two verses today, but I want to start here in the book of John chapter 20 and looking at verse number 17. And this is Jesus speaking. Um, and he had been um, crucified for our sins and he has risen again um, but he's talking um, and he says here to Mary in verse number 17 Jesus saith unto her touch me not for I am not yet ascended to my father but go to my brethren and say unto them I ascend unto my father and your father and to my God and your God um, when I think about that Jesus is the reason that I can say that the Lord of the world, the Lord of the universe, the creator of everything is also my father, also my Abba, which means daddy. And um, at a, on a day when I don't have uh, my stepdad, I called him my papa bear. And um, he was such a dear, sweet man, especially the last, um, the last 20 years of, of my life just things in his life changed about 20 years ago and we just were we had a great relationship and i'm so thankful for him and he was a great dad figure in my life but when i think about my heavenly father and how he's perfect and then i think that jesus is what made that possible i'm so thankful to my savior that he's my father um, that he is my everything and i hold to that um, because when um, when we when we lose that person in our life or several people in our life that are really um, for us here on earth seem to be kind of an anchor we realize that God is our is what we hold to God is our is our true anchor and I'm so thankful that he is and Jesus is what makes that possible I love how he reminds us here in verse number 17 he said I send unto my father and your father he's saying he's my father but he's also your father he's reminding us that we are joined with the father because of what he did on the cross when those arms were stretched out on that cross he was joining us together with the heavenly father and i am just so so thankful and so grateful for that i want us to look at what that means um and uh, just summed up in one verse um, let's go now to 1 John, the book of, the book of 1 John, um, chapter number 3. I'm looking in an old Bible here of mine. I've had this Bible for years, and I, I love it, but it is missing some pages. Um, there are there, Some of these pages are a little bit out of order. Here it is. 1 John chapter 3, verse number 1, and it says, Behold... What manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. So when we think about that God is our heavenly Father, He is. that is because of the love that he has for us. Remember, and I say this over and over again, because I have to remind myself over and over again, that I love him because he first loved me. His love 
was first. He approached me. He came to me. I, I tried to get to him, but I couldn't. Um, I was dead in my trespasses and sin. There was no access. But he came to me and showed me that I was lost on a Monday night and showed me that I was lost and offered me salvation. And I am so thankful that I accepted him as my Savior. And what that means is that I have all these privileges. I have all these rights. And I have all this access to the Heavenly Father. And I'm just so thankful. And it says, What manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. He has bestowed upon us so much love so much generosity, so much favor. He cares for me and he cares for you. And we can be called the sons of God. That's that's talking about sons as children. I am the daughter of the king. I am uh I have access to him because um that I am I am his child. And I am just so thankful at that love that he has bestowed upon me and that love that he has and bestowed upon you. And when I think about what that means is I have, I have a dad who knows perfectly how to discipline me. He knows perfectly what to bring into my life. He knows perfectly what to take away from my life. He know, He's always going to be there. He's never going to leave me nor forsake me. And I think about all these things that that relationship comes with. Um, my relationship with my earthly father, my real dad, um, was uh, very temporary. My uh, my stepdad um, was, you know, was was for for a short amount of time. And my my relationship with my children is going to be for a short amount of time until we get to heaven, and then we can all um, all come together again. A big wonderful reunion that we have to look forward to. But for this time that we're apart. I think about how much I miss them and then I am then I then I turn right around and think I am so loved and I'm so cherished and I have that fellowship then he's never left me and he's never going to forsake me and that is with our heavenly father and I'm just so thankful and I hope you are thankful for your heavenly father and I know for those of you who are like myself and who you don't have an earthly father uh, in your life right now that we can be so thankful for the Heavenly Father that is always there. And He knows how to help us with that grief. He knows how to help us with that loneliness, with that separation, that temporary, um, you know, joining again together. And um, He knows how to bring all that to pass. So I don't know if this has helped you. It's helped me just to think about Him, just to think about my Heavenly Father on this morning of, of Happy Father's Day. And I just want to thank, thank you, Jesus. Happy Father's Day.